Need I remind you that you are studying at Hogwarts and not the Three Broomsticks? You'll never become an aura at this rate. So get your head out of your butterbeer and into a blasted wizarding book, for Merlin's sake. Revelia. There are a few students here I'd like to send a howl. I need to catch up on my letter writing. Oh dear, do mind the tiles. Some of them can be most potent. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me. I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumours. You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the Headless Hunt. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Onai. I think her mother shares the sentiment. While I do not condone taking matters into your own hands when it comes to men like Rookwood and Harlow, your bravery is to be commended. Thank you, Professor. I, I... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us.
handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. What a beautiful way to run when Peavesy wants to have some fun! Revelio. Here we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah! And now we can finish yeah! the loyalty Woo! of Helga Hufflepuff, yeah! the wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw, yeah! and the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's house. Up. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits... I'd say 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner.
can't imagine. Rebellion. Pavelio. Alohomora. now, Demi guys. Rebellion.
girl wrote her essay on shrinking solutions and thought it would be clever to shrink it. Revelio. What are you up to now? What do we have here? A demi guys. Mine now, demi guys. Off on another adventure, are we?
Revelia. Thank you for protecting our school. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. I was wondering how you decided to teach divination. Ah, the art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood branch of magic. Those of us who possess the sight are rare. And, as is often the case with the unique among us, we can frequently be misread, even feared. When I was granted the opportunity to teach others about my gift and the good it can do, I was most grateful. I see. Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes. Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu, but we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. I find it truly intriguing, even if I don't fully understand it. <laughs> intriguing. That is one word for it. And I'm certain you will come to understand many things more deeply in the days ahead. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the Wizarding world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. I have enjoyed our conversation. said that travel broadens the mind. Students ought to have a strict schedule. No more reports. Lazy has a special knack. It's tormenting Professor Black. Just 
purification potion. I shan't tell. Dearie me, you are the most cold on you. Oh, the Ministry will hear about this! The fiends will rot in Azkaban! Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. Oh dear, that sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Hovel of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So, back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I could afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. What do you mean you do important work for the Headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the Headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvelous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. How nice to see you, my young friend.
Revelio. now, Demi guys. Lumos. Revelio. Rebellion. Alohomora. Revelio. Mind now, Demi guys.
Pavelio. Lumos. What are you up to now? 